Charlie is a bright purple engine on the Isle of Sodor. He loves to tell jokes, but can also be very serious, especially when he senses danger. One day, Charlie noticed the tunnel on fire. Fire! Fire! Oh no, I must get help. I know, the search and rescue team. I can ask them. And Charlie rushed off to find them. <laughs> Belle and Flynn, I need your help. There's a tunnel on fire. We need to put it out. This isn't one of your practical jokes again, is it, Charlie? Asked Flynn. No, 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 there's a real fire. All right then, let's go, Belle. And the three engines headed quickly for the tunnel. However, when they arrived, there was no fire. Huh? said a very confused Charlie. I'm sure the tunnel was on fire earlier. Flynn was angry. Charlie, the search and rescue center is always really busy. We don't have time for your jokes. Only call us when there's an actual emergency. Charlie was embarrassed and slowly backed away. The next morning, Charlie was busy at work and he was about to pass the tunnel again. <laughs> fire! Fire! The tunnel is on fire! I must get help! And once again, Charlie rushed to the search and rescue centre. Fire! Fire! Fire at the tunnel again! Charlie! Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. But there's really a fire. We are not falling for that trick again, Charlie. Now go and do some actual work. Charlie was upset. Who else can I ask to put out the fire? He thought to himself. Then an idea flew into his funnel. I know, I can ask Fireman Sam. And Charlie rushed off to Ponty Pack. Fireman Sam, I need your help! There's a tunnel on fire over there. We need to put it out. Oh no, that's not good! exclaimed Fireman Sam. We better go right away. But this isn't one of your jokes again, is it, Charlie? No, no, no! No, there's a real fire and we must put it out. All right then, let's go. However, when they arrived, there was no fire. Huh? said a very confused Charlie. I'm sure the tunnel was on fire earlier. Fireman Sam was angry. Charlie, this is not a funny joke. But there was a fire here. I, I don't understand. The next day, Charlie was at the tunnel, just watching it. Why did the fire keep starting and stopping? Then suddenly, smoke came out of the tunnel. That's odd, Charlie thought. But then he heard a train coming towards him. It was Thomas, and he was heading straight for the tunnel. Oh no! exclaimed Charlie. Stop, Thomas! The tunnel's dangerous! Luckily, Thomas stopped just in time. What's the matter, Charlie? he asked. This tunnel keeps catching fire, and I don't know why. Oh, it's probably your wild imagination, Charlie. I'm sure it's fine. Monster! Monster! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Dragon! Dragon! Bell and Flynn heard the shouting and rushed towards the tunnel. Ready, Belle? Flynn asked. Let's soak this dragon out. Belle lined up her hoses and blasted water into the tunnel. I'll check to see if it flew away, said Belle and slowly entered the tunnel. It's gone, she announced happily. All the engines were relieved. Flynn had an apology to make. I'm sorry for not believing you, Charlie. We should have taken a look in the tunnel before assuming it was one of your jokes. Don't worry, Flynn. As long as the dragon is now gone and the island is safe again. That's all that matters. Hey guys, Chris here. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe to Toy Trains for you if you haven't already. Hope to see you soon. Bye!